So for more on Trump's condition and the treatment he's now getting, we spoke to a critical care physician in the U.S. First off, remdesivir was one of those first medications that was given emergency use authorization by the FDA. Initially, it was for people who were only on oxygen, and that was expanded. So I wasn't too surprised to see remdesivir started. Also, the um, Regeneron's medication with the antibodies. What was a little more puzzling to me was the use of steroids in this case, because that's generally reserved for patients who are on oxygen and who have, have pneumonia. I noticed that um, the, his doctor, Dr. Conley, was a little evasive and said that his CT and X-ray findings were what was expected. So I'm assuming that they're not normal. And I believe that they're probably looking at the data and saying that the benefits of steroids are probably gonna outweigh the risks. Generally speaking, the patient becomes not contagious 10 days after the beginning of the onset of symptoms, so long as they don't have symptoms of a fever within those 24 hours. So clearly he's still in the contagious uh, period. And so if he's gonna be around you know, people, he needs to be cognizant of that and, and wear a mask. In the next few days, for him doing well, continuing to do well, I think that's probably the likely scenario, but there's always a chance that things could get worse, in which case he'd be taken back to Walter Reed.